Sometimes on the Hermitcraft server, despite our best intentions, shenanigans just don't... shenanigan. Brent? Hi, Scar. Hi there. I, I missed all the word, I apologize. Um, um... You're under my tent. This is... this is... this is kind of awkward. Uh... This... this is my secret base. In Corrales' base. base. Is it my secret base? Although, never did I ever believe that two whole shenanigans would not shenanigan in the same week. Guys, I'm sad. I didn't get anybody. Why? You didn't get anyone? What? Yeah, what? I d what? don't think I put my name down. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm swapping, I'm gonna swap base with myself. Swap with yeah. yourself, just move into a new location. Well, I guess that's just how it goes on the Hermitcraft server sometimes, my dudes. Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the Interbubs. This is Ren Diggity Dog coming at you in another Minecraft episode from the Hermitcraft server. We're kicking things off today, my friends, from deep within the Renperor's Fortress, where I've been hard at work this week, grinding away at one of the biggest projects we stuck on the project wall last episode. That being our shiny new and very complicated auto-sorting storage system that's nestled snugly in this recently excavated basement, deep within the fortress itself. And as you can see, my dudes, I've made some pretty decent progress on this bad boy so far. And over the last few days, I've managed to build up the skeleton structure of the sorting system after a few rather serious late night sessions of resource collecting and concrete making here in the Valley of Tatiure. The good news is, though, I've designed this system to be a stackable modular structure. And we're going to need to get a little bit Minecrafty nerdy on this particular point here, my dudes. What I mean by this is that each level or floor of our sorting system is identical to the next one. So, once one of the floors is built, it's just a matter of repeating the exact same build one story above it, right? On top of that, and because it's a modular design, this storage system can literally be as massive as we want it to be, as we can just keep adding layers to the structure to increase storage capacity and so on and so forth. And yeah, that's quite nerdy, but pretty dang cool if you ask me. Now, because of the modular nature of this build, there wasn't really much I could show you guys during the construction of these foundations, as it's a pretty boring and symmetrical structure, to be honest. But I did time lapse some of the building process, because I know some of you guys out there love seeing these mega projects slowly come together on the server. And while we watched that happen, I wanted to use this time-lapse footage to give you guys an idea of my vision for our storage facility, which was actually inspired by the reactor shaft in which Palpatine plummets to his supposed death in Return of the Jedi. So our storage system is going to look a bit like the reactor shafts of the Death Star, where we'll be able to throw items into the void to be auto-sorted in our storage system, much like Palpatine got chucked into the reactor of the Death Star. I mean, it's a tedious link, but... You know, it's, it's gonna work, my dudes. But as always, we're getting a bit of ahead of ourselves here, guys. First and foremost, we need to get the foundations of this thing built before we can work on the Star Wars aesthetic design of it. But I gotta say, man, so far, things are coming together rather nicely, if I do say so myself. Now, our storage system in the Renpra's Fortress is not the only project I've been working on this week. In fact, I spent most of yesterday terraforming our Mustafarian biome, which is another one of the mega projects we stuck on the project wall last week. And luckily for me, we ended up having a ton of blackstone available for this terraformification, because not only did we get some blackstone from Tango's Christmas present last year, Green donated a bunch of blackstone to the project last episode too, so I actually managed to get quite a bit done in the terraforming of Mustafar out here and later on we're going to be cracking on with the lava rivers too. And as you may have worked out from the intro of this video, my plans for this video were somewhat waylaid by shenanigans on the server. Yes, it's been a rather interesting week to say the least my dudes. Okay, let me explain. My plan for this episode was to spend the entire episode working on the projects that we plugged into the wall last time, focusing on the sorting system, the terraformification of Mustafar, and the lavafication of the rivers surrounding the biome. However, over the course of the week, 
a bunch of shenanigans began to shenanigan around me. And, well, let's just say a bunch of beautiful chaos began to ensue. Starting with a rather interesting visit from the magnificent Doc M77, who dropped in while I was chopping logs for Bigger Logs Incorporated. <laughs> Check it out. Now, as is often the case on the Hermitcraft server, us hermits are pretty much always recording footage, even when we're grinding. Because, let's be honest dudes, you never know what's gonna happen around these here parts, am I right? Well, this visit from Doc was a perfect example of this. And without realizing it, I was soon to be dragged into a massive shenanigan engineered and pulled off perfectly by that crazy doctor of the 77s. Jeez. Anyway, there I was, quietly minding my own business, blasting away at trees to restock our log shop, when Doc swooped in, dressed in a rather spiffy tuxedo, and began acting... Rather strangely, in my opinion. At first I thought Doc was just bored and wanted to help me out with the sapling planting and tree growing, but as the hours passed by, I started to notice some pretty weird behavior coming from the Doctor, which probably should have indicated to me immediately that shenanigans were afoot, but honestly, at the time, I thought he was just being cool and helping me with the few hours of grind at the TNT chopper. Anyway, he kept calling me sir and typing in a really weird way in chat, and as Doc and I know each other really well, I probably should have realized at that point he was behaving out of character and that something fishy was going on. I don't know, I guess I was just happy for the help and I thought Doc was having a great time too, so I just kind of went with it. Until Doc managed to, well, literally kill me accidentally in my own machine while trying to help me with the blasting. And yeah, it was at this point I thought, yo, we better get on a call and try to figure out what the heck is going on here with this tuxedoed up Doc M77. Well, as it turns out, my dudes, we got freaking shenanigans. Oh, jeez. Hey, man. Hi. <laughs> I'm very sorry. What's going on, dude? This has been such a weird afternoon. Uh, do you have an anvil? Uh, no? I am right back. One sec. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. Th thanks for the help, I guess, dude. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how you messed that up. I mean, it's. <laughs> I, um, Maybe we should have just been in the call from the beginning so I could explain to you how the system yeah. works. But yeah, thanks for the help there, man. It's, that, it's know, appreciated, it's dude. Not really possible. You know, that it's a, a special thing. I think I can say it now, but I have to... Do we have an anvil? An anvil? I really need an anvil. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Dig into the box. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Why are you calling me sir? What's wrong with you, dude? <laughs> Like, wait, what's, what is the skin of, what is, what is going on, dude? What is, what is this? Wait. Yes. What do you mean, wait, what do you mean, yes? <laughs> okay, listen, man. There is the Hermitcraft challenge. Yes. What? I, there's the Hermitcraft challenge going on. You have to be a butler for someone else, and you cannot tell them that you are their butler. And uh, you gotta wear a butler skin, and, you know, only when they say, <laughs> yeah, I'm satisfied with your services, you can reveal yourself. Dude, I'm not satisfied with your services. You blew me up. Too late. You blew me up, dude. No, you have the kelp. I'm not taking it back. Um, you know what the good thing is about the kelp? Yeah. You're gonna be the next butler. Wait. So let me get, so you come here, you blow me up in my own machine, which you, we didn't even finish the job, by the way. Still, Wait, there's still birch up there. And now I have to go and butler for someone else, bro? Exactly. And also there's something else. What do you mean there's something else? What is that? What is that? I owe you 120 stacks of, lo oh. Oh yeah. Can I have those birch logs? Oh you yeah. Just um... I forgot I forgot about this one. <laughs> you still have it, dude? Yes. I really need some oak uh birch, man. Okay. Well, I mean let's have a look. We we've been at this all afternoon, so <laughs> Dude, you've been helping me for hours. That is some commitment Sorry. to the commitment to the uh, prank, dude. I'll, yes, I'll give you that. I'll give you look, that. Like the achievement I got beforehand, where was it? Oh here. Serious dedication when you gave me the hole. Yeah. That is, you know. <laughs> that's perfect. Well, oh, yeah. I've got like, we've got like maybe, um, I don't know if that's 120, but it's quite a lot. So why don't you take all the birch that you want and then you can take 
Well, you can you can choose 120 from this here, from all of all of this stock here. How about that? Is that is that a deal? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, yeah. uh, Doc, I'm a I'm a minus <laughs> 20 for blowing me up though. I'm a okay, because let's be real, dude. You blew me up in my own machine. I mean, all so right. 100. Yeah, okay, okay, 100. Okay? Deal. Shake okay. hands. Uh, okay. Okay. Here we go. There we go. I'm gonna go clean up your mess too, my dude. Jeez. Worst <laughs> log cutter on the server, Doc. <laughs> hey, have fun with the butlering. <laughs> well, my dudes, as we watch a bit of time lapse footage of the river lavification project, I am obligated to report to you all that we have been successfully butlered by Doc M77 this week. Basically, for those of you guys who don't know what's going on, Doc has dropped us into a hermit challenge originally set up by the Mumbo of the Jumbos. And the challenge is as follows. If you're the butler, you need to help out a fellow hermit without them knowing that you are the butler until they no longer need your help. At that point, they become the butler if they weren't able to recognize the shenanigan before they asked you to stop helping them. Now, so far, Mumbo managed to successfully butler for Doc deep within Doc's automatic diamond mine, thus making Doc into the butler, who then proceeded to successfully butler for us this week at the Quadra Chopper. I hope you guys are keeping up. This is getting complicated. Now, as I hadn't watched any of Mumbo or Doc's episodes last week, I literally had no idea what the heck was going on, and I got my butt shenaniganed real hard. Oh, and by the way, also got killed by Doc in my own machine. Which means we now have to try and ninja butler another hermit on the server to get rid of this slimy bit of kelp. Well, I guess that's just another shenanigan to add to the already growing list of shenanigans on our project wall. Thanks for nothing, Doc M77, but well played, good sir. Well played. Now, this butler business was just the start of the shenanigans that went on on the server this week, my friends. And while I was making some pretty decent progress on the lavification of the rivers of Mustafar, I was once again shenaniganed, although this time it was my own shenanigan that got shenaniganed. You guys remember the secret base we were building in Corallus's base last episode? Yeah, well, it turns out our secret base was not so secret after all, and resulted in a rather derptastic turn of events, where my secret base shenanigan ended up failing in the most fantastical of ways. Check this out. Brent? Hi, Scar. Hi there. I, I missed all the word. I apologize. Um, um, you're under my tent. This is this is this kind of awkward. Uh, this this is my secret base in what, Corallus's your secret base. base. Is in my secret base. This looks like the uh, the what? Porter John like shoot. No 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 no. <laughs> Wait, are you trying to bamboozle me, dude? I'm in Corallus's base under. the with a, a button secret entrance thing <clears throat> did, did you think my yeah. tents were Corallus's base did you not see jelly wait those tents are are not Corallus's base no oh uh, my gosh you thought those were Corallus. <laughs> wait what <laughs> no wait I, I think i get this i think i get i think i got this you saw the tents and you're like those are some beautiful amazing tents right yeah. you were like Wow. Uh, and then you're like, I could build my base. I'm flattering myself. Um, I could build yeah. my base mm -hmm. under these beautiful tents. That's exactly what happened. Dude, it gets even oh, wait a minute. This is I'm at this is kind of embarrassing of actually. Firstly, there's no way out of my secret base, just uh, just by the way. Um well, now I'm trapped. There's no actual way out of here. Uh, we're gonna have to go and I thought <laughs> oh, shit, I was I'm so sorry. sneaky, dude. I thought I'd hidden my base amazingly. I made a button and everything. The viewers wait, they wait, but for realsies. They but didn't know realsies. anything. Come up here, I'll explain. Know. Okay, 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 okay. So, this is your <laughs> secret base? Yeah, dude, I built this like the other day. There's Jelly, look, sneaky Jelly. Oh wait, the cat's named Jelly. Yeah. I mean, come on, dude, th this is Jelly's colors. Like, literally, my cat has colors. Turquoise, pink, and white. That's her favorite colors. Dude, this is what happens when you go on She's holiday. fashion forward. You come back to the server, you don't know what's happening. It's all carnage and chaos. Look here, yeah. I thought I was so sneaky. I even changed the floor to throw people off. <laughs> Dude, I came over here earlier and then I was about to push the button and then beat ups and uh, Grin showed me the sewer and I came back like a few hours later and I'm like, time to investigate. <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, so basically in summary, Scar, I built mm -hmm. a secret base inside of your secret base inside of Karanis' base. Because why are we doing this? Exactly. I have no idea, but I was cordially invited. Me too. And I had to show up, I guess. When you're cordially invited to something, you need to make an appearance. Yeah. And other than that, dude, I have no idea what we're here, other than I was mm. cordially invited. Well, I think, well, I'm going to have to give this base up now, I think. Because I, that the problem yeah. is, my dude, I'm I'm going to pack the tents up because I'm stealth camping here in Kralis' city, like changing spots, avoiding the security guards, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a genre on YouTube. I quite enjoy it. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna pack the tent up so it's gonna kind of leave your hole exposed. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can cover it over with some dirt. I mean, I can do that for you. That would... I think I'm just gonna have a to stealth? abandon it and maybe do something with it. I, I mean, dude, I'm feeling pretty sheepish right now. I, I'm just gonna go <laughs> chill with Jelly for now. You're going into the cat tent. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I... I I did the secret base wrong. How did I mess a secret base up? Scar, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. Don't oh, look man. at me, dude. Don't look at me. <laughs> this is the best ever. Oh, man. I, I love this server. So, yeah. This is kind of awkward and embarrassing, my dudes. It turns out that I thought Scar's secret base was actually a part of Karanis' base, and so I built my secret base inside of Scar's secret base, and was then discovered by Scar, which means our location has been compromised and... Well, I guess our secret base shenanigan has come to a rather hilarious and very sudden end. So, yeah, despite the fact we tried extremely hard to shenanigan, turns out this week on the Hermacraft server is not our week for shenaniganification. I guess all we can do now is pack up our mini head collection and go back to the shenanigan drawing board, I guess. Now, I gotta say, my dudes, it's been an absolutely glorious week for me here on the Hermacraft server. Not only did I manage to get an insane amount of progress done on both the storage facility of the Renpris Fortress, but also on our Mustafar Biome Terraformification project, there was so many shenanigans going on all over the place. I had so much fun with all of my fellow hermits on the server this week. Now, as you can see, I've been hard on the grind here in our sorting system for the last couple of days, and I've just managed to install a brand new elevator system here in this giant storage structure. We're going to be using bubble vators to go up and down, and while well, it's a pretty simple system, really, the blue glass indicators on the elevator entrances means up, and the red glass indicators on the elevator shaft means down. So this way we can get up and down our system pretty well. I mean, we can try and fly to the different levels too, but we already plunged to our death earlier on in the episode trying to do that. So I think a nice safe elevator system is exactly what this build needs. Now, my dudes, there is one more shenanigan that we need to talk about in today's episode. And of course, last week we discovered some sort of weird button machine over in the shopping district. Well, it turns out that button is a server-wide shenanigan that literally changed the way that a bunch of hermits are going to be playing on the server for the next few weeks. The bad news is, despite me wanting to get involved in this shenanigan, I managed to un-shenanigan myself because I am an idiot. Uh, it's very difficult to explain. Just watch this, my dudes. Everyone's kind of got into groups, like there's a Hobbit society, and we're kind of what's left, so we're the, we're we're the new the group. Yeah. We just want to know what this thing is about, and also, can I just, I want to bring this up, because I saw on Reddit that, like, Mumbo totally got busted for building this thing, because he left all the concrete in his inventory on the episode <laughs> yeah. that he discovered it, so it's... It's good job, Mumbo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, That's Mumbo. why people, you know exactly what's happening, right? The it's button a, is coming button. back. It's oh, the second yeah. button. Courtesy of the uh, government, uh, we do have cake provided for everyone's nutrition, neural needs. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Scar, does that cake come with delivery? Please. Where are you? I'm. I'm also in the in the losers group, but I'm chilling on the chorus fruit because I, I want to be close to whatever's about to happen. You know what, Ren? <laughs> just for you. Where are you? I'm over here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I see oh. Dive bomb the cake. Come on. That B dubs balloon is amazing. It's so good. I look out my front window and it just oh, creeps great. me out every morning now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find you right Oh, something's oh, happening, oh, dudes. Oh, 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 no. Something's happening. Oh. Okay. Fireworks. Right. Cool. It's expensive. 
cool. Right. Oh, that wait, the bomb has blown up. The bomb has blown up. Oh, right. there's been explosions? In. Wait. Whoa. Dude, it's like a pinata. Get down here. There's probably free stuff. Yes. <laughs> free candy. <laughs> free stuff. Wow. Okay, what's oh, dude, what's, something what's down the here. mystery? Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, Jeez! Um <laughs> I put the finger by mistake. I'm so sorry. Scar! I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're the mayor! Doc, I don't wanna go down there, dude. No please. Oh, oh do, you, do you guys want me to read this out? There's some signs. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sh sure. Stay away from their stuff. I guess. I'm so also. Sorry. Somebody got a chest or something? I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, there's one here. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, hermit. Man. Okay, here we go. It's the Hermitcraft Big Base Swap. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> oh. Thank you for giving us the deeds to your base in the form of a sign submitted before the deadline. Oh, no. Your base has now been transferred to another hermit indefinitely. What? <laughs> you have now been assigned a new base by the HCBBS. Go up to your labeled box and see what base you now own. Deeds Ooh. can be transferred between hermits. There's a bit of, there's a bit of legal here. Yep, Whoever holds print. the deeds owns the base. Okay. That's some very small Here's print at the end there. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. I got uh, I got here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Who did you guys get? Zombie Cleo. I got Falsy. Uh, zombie Cleo. Okay, okay. Guys, I'm sad. I didn't get anybody. Why? You didn't get anyone? What? Yeah, what? I d what? don't think I put my name down. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> I'm swapping, I'm gonna swap base with myself. Oh, yeah. Swapping yeah. yourself, just moving to a new location. Friend, I have two bases. You you can have one of my other ones. Ooh! <laughs> can I can. Or whatever, or the whatever. So who, wait, I'm confused now. This almost starts immediately? like immediately. Let's 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 bait him out. Right whoever ca whoever came up with this is a genius and very handsome. Let's see. Let's. Oh, <laughs> Ed has a nice mustache. Yeah. <laughs>